it's almost there, but I mean, yeah. I had access to be let out a little bit. It's too, too, too tight. Yeah. Is that too oh, tight? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes me sexy. So when, you know, when I want to be sexy, I go see my man and he hook it up. Well, he's got tremendous style and panache, and if he can get me in a suit, he can get anybody in a suit. Frankly, unless you're wearing Oswald Boateng, you're not dressed properly. What are you looking for here? Anything in particular or just what? No, it's, it's intuitive. I'm trying to understand it. The touching is also understanding. You're born in London, so you have an English understanding of what that is. You know you're African, you know where your roots are. On the other hand, you're not being accepted because you're black. But there was a massive cultural tension, massive. Because you were in a minority, you were similarly you were alone. The riots demonstrated that you weren't there. You either took a very radical position, said, I'm black and it's a real problem in life, or I'm black, it's difficult, but I'm gonna make it work. So you had to park the color as an issue and just get on with it. But if I make that sleeve narrower, it accentuates this waistline more, creating an illusion of a slimmer fit. My money, my money. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing because it's just just papers, every papers everywhere, brown papers everywhere in the house. I was training myself. We training ourselves to cut jacket and all this. The meaning of also divinely powerful. This is a sort of thing that I'll give to the boy because I'm convinced he's going to be great. When I decided to design at 16, he was the one I looked at. Armani is why I do what I do. He inspired everything in me to create. What? That used to be my studio, that little bar. That used to be my studio when I first started here. Is that where you used to live? Yeah, I used to live and work. Introducing the best dressed street in the world. Savile Row was founded here a few years after the Battle of Waterloo. His drive to succeed finally had him located in Savile Row by the age of just 28 making him the youngest and the first black tailor with that prestigious address. If you drop a piece because of summer, and I don't even yeah, know, because yeah, yeah. I'm now designing spring summer 2011, yeah, yeah. I'm moving up light speed, I've forgotten the piece. Yeah. Then I come back and I look at it like this, and I'm, what am I doing? What am I exactly doing? So something's missing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Here I am on the red carpet, the exclusive Vanity Fair party with Oswald Boateng. Hello. How are you? Really good. Oh, yeah. T-O-E-N. It's all about the cut. And you do all the cut. Yeah. Well, I can still cut. For you, I cut. Would you? Yeah, but I won't go for you. That's a cut for me. <laughs> it's been agreed only this morning that actually we'll just focus that pleating just on the fifth. Yeah, we'll focus on the bit there. We'll do the same shirt and the same bow tie. Exactly. Kill it. That's rocking. Exactly. It's fantastic. Yeah. What makes Oswald special? Ha <laughs> ha. Well, that's I mean, Oswald's unique. He's got this incredible, classic, British tailoring sensibility thing happening. Very charming, very witty, very temperamental. And then at the same time, he's got this extraordinary African use of color. It's fantastic. Fantastic, beautiful, look at me now. <laughs> Money would like to compliment you on your elegance. Oh, thank you. Very much.